This is the Hyundai Ionic 5. In this video, I want to test the range in real life driving conditions. I will test the range on the highway to find out the minimum range. Then I will also do a second range test in the city at lower average speeds to know the maximum range. I also want to know how long it takes to charge the battery at a public charger. Ionic 5 has a WLTP range of 481 kilometers based on 19 inch wheels and 451 kilometers based on 20 inch wheels, which are test car was equipped with. It's rear-wheel drive and has a power of 218 horsepower. The capacity of the battery is 72.6 kilowatt hours. As far as I can tell, this is the net capacity of the battery. The goal of this part of the test is to find out the minimum range of this car by testing it at higher average speeds. For this, I will test the range mainly by driving on the highway. The first part of the test was driving on the highway for 144 kilometers, where I got an average consumption of 23.6 kilowatt hours. The estimated range based on this consumption is 308 kilometers. Then I left the highway and there was a bit of in-between driving on country roads. This was for 37 kilometers. The overall trip average after this part was 22.4 kilowatt hours, which puts the range at 324 kilometers. Then I drove all the way back on the highway. I ended this test with a battery that was down to 16%. Average consumption over a drive of 266 kilometers in total was 21.5 kilowatt hours. So the total range base of this consumption is 338 kilometers on the highway. However, if you want to know what the minimum range is, then I would rather look at the number of around 308 kilometers, since that was also measured over a large sample of 100. 44 kilometers. I guess one of the elements that influenced the range a bit was the temperature. Since the beginning of the day it was around 10 to 11 degrees and at the end of the day it was around 14 degrees. Later in this video I will test the range at lower average speeds but let's first recharge the car. I charged the car at a public charger. This AC public charger has a power of 22 kilowatt but the onboard charger of the Ionic 5 has a power of 11 kilowatt, so this is a charging speed that we got. It took me 5 hours and 50 minutes to charge the car from 19% to 100%. This was slow AC charging. You can also use fast DC charging up to a whopping speed of 220 kilowatt, but this I didn't test. Let's now test the range at lower average speeds in the city. I want to find out what the maximum range of this car could be. Let's have a look at my results. I emptied the battery down to 70 percent to find out the average consumption so that I could make an estimate of the total range. I stopped at 70 percent because the average consumption at my measuring points didn't change that much over the last intervals. Based on a consumption of 14.6 kilowatt hours, the range is 497 kilometers in the city. In conclusion, I can say that the range of the Ionic 5 lies somewhere between 308 kilometers and 497 kilometers, based on similar driving conditions. If the driving conditions and the weather conditions change, you might get different results. I did the test end of October and the temperatures were between 10 to 14 degrees for the highway test and 14, 15 degrees for the low speed test. In the summer, you should get better results. In the winter, you will get less range. I hope I I was able to answer some questions you might have about this car. If you want to see more real life range tests, I already published videos about the Audi Q4 40 e-tron and the Volkswagen ID4 and I will publish more similar videos in the future. Subscribe if you want to be notified about these videos.